One of the Pope's most important documents is the Mores Laetitia, which is about the family. Pope Francis dedicated one of the chapters on how to integrate divorced persons who have remarried into the life of the church. Although many have simply reduced the message to the church can allow communion in some cases, this was not his intention. Conosco cattolici risposati che vanno in chiesa una volta all'anno, due volte, ma io voglio fare la comunione come se la comunione fosse un'onorificenza. No? Un lavoro di integrazione, tutte le porte sono aperte, ma non si può dire di cui in più possono fare la comunione. Questo sarebbe una ferita anche ai matrimoni, perché non, eh, alla coppia, perché non li farà fare quella strada di integrazione. Cardinal Coco Palmerio has written a short book about Chapter 8 of Amores Laetitia. It touches on how the divorced who want to live out their faith can be helped by the church. I said to myself and also to the others, let's read the text and try to understand it and to write it as simply as possible. Chapter 8 is complex because it includes so many deep things that are difficult to understand. It needs to be read with ease to piece together the various parts in a way so that the text can better be understood. In his book, he has proposed a way to include those Catholics who have been divorced and remarried, suggesting that each diocese have a priest or bishop who can speak to these couples and make decisions on a case-by-case -case basis. It would be opportune for the pastor to ask the diocese to combine with an office established especially for difficult cases, like the one that already exists for special situations regarding weddings, when the priest has to ask for advice or permission. This way, the same office could do this. The pastor present the situation, then the bishop give his opinion and then the priests tell the faithful what they must do in the situation in which they find themselves. The Cardinal says dialogue within the church is useful and necessary to give equal opportunity for all sinners to make amends and do penance, and maybe one day return to the sacraments. When there is a person who realizes he is in a situation that is not regular, and he aims to change that, but he cannot, because for special reasons it will cause harm to other people. No one can say, now I decide with my own judgment to go to the sacraments. They have to submit their condition to the ecclesial authorities who are above the pastor. It is for this reason he hopes that dialogue between couples and priests, combined with his short but detailed book on Amores Laetitia, can help everyone understand and appreciate what the church teaches.